4K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. Greetings, everyone. Glad to have you here with us on this Wednesday night edition of the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg and our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. We've got the Atlanta Hawks facing the Houston Rockets. Ladies and gentlemen, ready? Tip-off goes to Houston. All right, let's set the floor. Courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. On the court right now for the Hawks. Dominique Wilkins out there with Kevin Willis. And it's Rivers. Then it's Whitman. And it's Rollins in at the five down low. Give an assist there, not for the pass, but for the solid screen set on the inside that freed him up and made the layup possible. Rivers passes to Willis. Rivers with it. Over Thorpe. He hits the back iron and sinks the shot. Now you see the toughness and the competitiveness of Doc Rivers, always looking for the most opportunistic play. Now here is Smith. Here is Elijah Wong. Over Wilkins. He makes the Johnny from the left block. And it's Rivers with the ball. He brings it up for the Hawks. To the inside. Here's Willis. Makes it off the glass. Willis has got his first bucket of the night. Yeah, good awareness there. He sees an opening and doesn't hesitate. Boy, it's a thing of beauty watching him attack the defense like that. I mean, they wanted no part of him on that layup. Tries it from nine. And all around the rim that time before dropping in. And right out of the gates, they are locked and loaded. Three straight scores early. Rivers kicks to Willis. Over Thorpe. And the Hawks getting another basket right there. And boy, did he ever sell the pump fake. Worked to absolute perfection. I think he's going to have to be more cautious on defense. He can't afford to pick up a third foul here in the first quarter. Webb's checked in for the Hawks. Here's Thorpe. Out to Smith. To the middle. Thorpe, that's good. Lights out here, right out of the gate. Perfect 4-4 from the floor. Willis, and it's Willis finishing it off. Straight rim rocker. It looked like a Greg for a second, like he might rip the cylinder loose. <laughs> Now that is some real industrial size strength right there. Great move. This is what you get when Thorpe's being aggressive. He's a high percentage shooter in that painted area. Teardrop shot and the rejection by Smith. Well, you know what? All good things must come to an end, and they finally miss after making their first four. And it's good off the back rim and in. Smith's got his first points in this one. Yeah, complete focus right now. Such an impressive start to this game. 100% from the field. It's deflected, and he gets it back. Webb against Smith. Rocket six. Webb the pass to Willis. Knocked away. Grab against Smith. And we're approaching about three and a half minutes played in the first quarter. Here's Maxwell. And he gets the whistle for the three-second call. The Hawks trail by four. Grab dishes to Wilkins. He's checked in for Orr. Mario Nelly. First quarter of play and uh, just over three and a half minutes in. Now Webb. 
he's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Just four to shoot over Smith. And that one comes up a bit short. That's one he knows he should have drained. Pass to Maxwell. From past the arc. Atlanta with the rebound. And we've got an update here, so let's catch up with David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Well, I spoke with the head coach of the Hawks. He said the focus defensively is going to be making things difficult inside. He wants to get them off the three-point line and make them take as many mid-range shots as possible. Kevin? Thank you, David. For the Rockets, Brooks checked in for Maxwell, and it's Cassell in for Smith. Then for the Hawks, Concax checked in for Rollins, and it's Johnson in for Whitman. Here's Elijah one. His second shot goes in. Off to a good start, two for two. And that's the rub. I mean, as good as Elijah one is on the blocks, he can be equally as effective from mid-range. Wilkins against Ellie. Wilkins passes to Conkin. Back to Wilkins. Johnson kicks to Webb. Elijah one grabs the miss. And he just hasn't been able to make anything this quarter. Brooks, the pass to Thorpe. Back to Brooks. Houston moving the ball around. Here's Elijah Wan. Goes to the reverse layup and drops it in. Elijah Wan's got his third bucket of the night. And the story here, Kevin, early on is how well they've shot the basketball. Very high percentage so far. And and if you want to start a game hot, that's the way to do it. And the pass there floated it up to the precise spot it needed to be. And no messing around on the finish. He powers it through. And that's an alley-oop that'll be loop to loop all day long on the highlight reel. No misses for him yet in this quarter. Solid as a rock. It's Wilkins on the wing. Just his first attempt. Thorpe on the glass, grabs the board. Hey, I thought he had the space to shoot comfortably there and disappointed that he missed it. Willis against Cassell. Here's the teardrop. Count that one. Cassell's got his first points of the night. And, and offensively, they've done a great job here of staying in rhythm. Well, I'll tell you what, Greg, their offense has really been productive this half, and I, I absolutely love the shots they've taken so far. And now the first time out called here for the Hawks. Yeah, you, you can sense he wasn't happy with how things are going here, probably looking to change it up a bit. Nothing wrong with that. You got to be flexible. When something isn't working, you adjust, you modify, you go to something else. That's what the best coaches do. The Rockets making a switch here. Bullard's checked in. Then for the Hawks, Carr comes in for Willis. And Livingston subbed in for Spud Webb. Textbook, nice pass, great catch, even better finish. Cassell against Johnson. To the wing on the left. Here's Cassell. Here's the pass to Bullard. That's tipped, and he's able to get it back. And they turn over the 24-second buzzer, signaling the shot clock violation. And the Hawks making a change here. Hastings checked in. The Hawks trail by six. And here is Wilkins. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. The shot's good from Hastings. And it's just been an avalanche of points here in the early going. Yeah, you know, both teams scoring at a really steady clip. If you like good offense, you've come to the right spot. This is your game. Now here's Brooks. Pass to Elijah Wan. Got it. Good job in the low post. Elijah Wan's got 10 points. Wow, unconscious has he been this quarter. They're riding that hot hand. Brooks against Wilkins. With one on the clock, what a play! He simply drains it in at the buzzer. Great awareness of the clock to end the quarter. That's just really good clock management there. I mean, that's how you close a quarter. And don't go away. We'll be right back.
And hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. Halfway through the first half in this one. And let's take a moment, guys, to get your take on the scoring so far for the Rockets. Well, I like the fact they've already been getting a lot of high-quality shots in the paint. And, and, and something else that's stood out for me tonight is their efficient scoring in the low post. They've got Bullard. Cassell is out there with Brooks. Then there's Ellie, and it's Elijah Wan in at the center, locking down the middle. That's the group starting the second quarter for the Rockets. Rivers looking over the floor. Passes to Hastings. Two points. That one goes. Hastings got the opening field goal of the second quarter for Atlanta. Nice pass here to set that basket up. Brooks with no one around. And a miss there on the triple. The Hawks trailing. Here's Levingston. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Rivers against Cassell. Carr. It's good. This game is all even. Moving it around. Eight of their last ten coming off assists. And, Greg, you know nothing makes a coach happier than selflessness on the basketball court. Cassell gets the bucket. Not too much respect shown to him by the defenders. Johnson outside. Over to the wing. Here's Levingston. So for the Rockets, Maxwell comes in for Brooks, and Smith subbed in for Cazell. And a switch here also for Atlanta. Whitman's checked in. Pass to Maxwell. Here's Elijah one. And as it goes out of bounds, Houston able to keep the ball here. A minute and a half gone here in the second quarter. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. Watching Horry get going inside, pretty good stuff. Not just an outside sniper, but a more than capable post player as well. And so it's Rivers with it. He'll bring it up for the Hawks. They trail by six. Here's Whitman from 16 feet away. He cans it. Whitman's got his second basket. That's a clean look they gave him there, fellas, and he drains those. And there's the pass to Orr. He kicks to Smith. Houston moving the ball around. Bullard, Elijah Wan trying to break free, and Bullard gets it to go. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. Pass to Whitman. Carr with the ball. He's guarded by Maxwell. Shot clock at five. Livingston, the pass to Carr. The second chance effort. Here's Hastings. Rivers in the corner. And they force the shot clock violation. Great D. The Rockets making a switch here. Corpse checked in. And the Hawks making a change here as well. Rollins checked in for Antoine Carr. Rivers against Smith. Here in the second quarter, about three minutes played. Already he's looking at his third foul. I think the coach will probably look to sit him down until the third quarter. Spud Webb, he's checked in for Livingston. Passes it to Maxwell. Here's Thorpe. Whitman defending. That one good for two. How about how he sets his man up there, runs him right into the screen, and then gets the basket. Rivers passes to Hastings. Over Thorpe. Comes up empty from 19 feet out. And here are the Rockets. They've gone on a 10-2 run, not allowing much. The slam dunk by Thorpe. And, and nobody, guys, among the defenders stepping up to challenge him on that drive to the 10. And, Greg, he says, thank you very much, and <laughs> sails in for the flush. And those are the kind of sequences that tell you why the score is what it is. 
Atlanta calls timeout. And not surprising, obviously unhappy with the lack of response from his team. Can't blame him. I mean, the effort hasn't been there. Just has not been there. Hopefully, he can get the fire lit. Will as he checked in for the Hawks. And so it looks like the Hawks will retain possession here. And just over three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. That's his first second shot opportunity, and it's good on the way in. Willis has got eight points. Yeah, the strength of Kevin Willis really impressive, and he does a nice job positioning for offensive rebounds. Smith against Willis. Now, here is Smith, shoots the three, hands it from downtown. He has five. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. Webb kicks to Willis. A steal. And the basket by Maxwell. And the Rockets lead by 13. And this has been a great job of just getting into the middle of that defense and really scoring effectively from the paint. Thorpe against Willis. No good on that one. And the Rockets take it the other way. Here's Ori. And it's Houston with another. And that pattern continues, guys. Another heat check. Another log on the fire. Well, they're scorching right now. I mean, the defense has to be concerned. Nothing they're doing is stopping this run. Ellie, he's checked in for Houston. Atlanta also making some changes here. Concat comes in for Rollins. And it's Wilkins in for Doc Rivers. Ball's knocked loose. Here's Willis. Battles through traffic and lays it in. And it's all about the release when you shoot the floater. Ripman against Maxwell. Count the basket. Maxwell's got four points in the quarter. And how about the terrific use of the crossover there to just throw the defender off balance? Here's Webb. Scores for only the second time tonight. Now two for six from the field. Huge hole in the defense, that possession. He didn't waste any time cutting through it. Smith against Webb. Pass to Maxwell. Six to shoot. From the arc. And again, it's the Rockets from deep. And now he's taken a solid opening in the quarter and built on it here in the second. Webb with it to the middle. And he takes that one up and powers it through. And no doubt they'd love to see him get a lot more of those opportunities. And that deficit will go away quickly if he does, Greg. Well, I like the way he capped off that drive. The one-hand hole punch. Well, I think the defense got really lucky there. I mean, you can't afford to give up wide-open shots from deep. Yeah, nice, strong finish there. Nearly a three-point opportunity. Full throttle, pedal to the metal, attacking basketball. I like that. Atlanta shooting their first free throws tonight. The first trip to the stripe in this one. Olajuwon's checked in for the Rockets. Cassell comes in for Smith. Johnson, he's checked in for the Hawks. Both shots good from the stripe. There's 126 left in the first half. Johnson against Cassell. The pass to Maxwell. Here's Cassell. Just five to shoot. And Concac pulls it down. The Hawks trail by 12. Pass to Wilkins. Maxwell against Webb. Cassell gets the bucket. Cassell's got five points now this quarter. So it's the Hawks now. Now Webb. Outside Wilkins. Johnson, the pass to Willis. Wilkins kicks to Webb. Shot clock at five. 
Some serious elevation by Spud Webb. Yeah, it's hard to not be captivated by the little fella, Spud Webb. Five foot seven inches, but he's got a 42 inch vertical bounce. Johnson against Cassell. Passes to Elijah Wan. Here's Cassell. Offensive rebound. And then Elijah Wan with the dunk. Such a graceful player. Uh, Hakeem is, is light off the ground there for that rebound. And then the skill to send that one home. And so it's Houston sitting with a comfortable lead up by 14. And we'll see if they can keep up their tremendous shoot. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Greetings, friends and neighbors. One half down. Houston found themselves in a close game in the first. They got their lead up to as many as eight points in the opening period. The second quarter got a lot more exciting for them as they were putting up big numbers and find themselves way out in front here at the half. Kenny, what do you think about the Rockets? In terms of their offensive performance, that was a very well played and and with the big gap on the scoreboard the second half begins with very different goals for these teams one side trying to mount a comeback one side trying to protect their lead Hakeem Olajuwon has been sensational oh, well they've done a good job of letting the game come to them and really few four shots here so far and you know, Greg, I like how they've set the pace. There's a lot of time left in this one, so there's no rush. You don't have to go 70 miles an hour. Keep it at about 45. On the court right now for the Hawks, they've got Wilkins. Ripping out there with Rivers. Then there's Willis. And it's Rollins in at the five. Four on the shot clock. Atlanta needs to get off a shot here. Tries again. The putback. Great positioning on the putback. That one goes down, but offensively, there's one of four to start the third quarter. Pass to Thorpe. Shoots over Willis, and the Rockets getting another bucket right there. He's their go-to guy, and when he shoots the ball like he has today, that's what the scoreboard usually looks like. And the pass to Whitman. Now Willis. He was guarded by Maxwell. Puts it up. Second shot opportunity. It's good. And the Rocket lead is cut down now to just 12 points with the basket from Willis. And you know, he's enjoyed the kind of day you expect in terms of shooting the basketball. He can bring them right back into this game. Here's Thorpe. And Houston again with the bucket. And he's the main reason they have the lead right now. He's been perfect from the field, literally. Rivers passes to Wilkins. Willis against Thorpe. And Willis gets it to go. Rockets leading by 12. Pass to Thorpe. Back to Smith. That's tipped. Kicks it to Elijah Wan. Solid play in the low block, and that one's good. Elijah Wan's got 14 points for the game. I'll well, tell you what, you can't let Elijah Wan get this kind of positioning. I mean, he is a master at knowing how to score close inside. Atlanta calls timeout. Brooks checked in for Maxwell. Levingson's checked in for Atlanta. This is to Rivers. And he uses the glass on the layup. He has a little bit of trickeration with that one. Gets that one to go against the lip. Trickeration. I like that, partner. That's pretty strong word creation. And you've got to be creative, though, whether you're commentating or hooping, especially when you're going inside. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Well, listless and lifeless at the defensive end. I mean, especially inside. They've really got to pick up that interior defense. That would be four in a row for them now as they have come racing out of the gate to start this second half. 
third quarter here, and three minutes have come off the clock. Whitman passes to Livingston. Rivers against Smith, and that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And you know, for all of his production, Rivers really is the emotional leader out there. Very intense and extremely confident. Houston making a switch here. Bullard's checked in. Hastings, he's checked in for the Hawks. Carr comes in for Willis. And he sinks the second. And so it's Smith with it. He'll bring it up for the Rockets. At one point, they led by 16. To the left wing. Or good on the three-point shot. Or he's got eight points. And I love whenever Ori rises up from there. His jump shot is so pure, the D has to respect it. Here's Hastings, and he wills that one in, sinking right through off the back iron. Rockets leading by 12. Poked away, out of bounds. It'll go to the Hawks. Hey, he just threw that possession away. Hopefully he learns from that and doesn't make the same mistake again. So for the Rockets. Ellie, he's checked in for Ori. And it's Cassell in for Smith. Concax checked in for Atlanta. Johnson comes in for Whitman. Johnson kicks to Rivers. Passes it to Carr. Back to Rivers. Six on the shot clock. Picked his pocket. Johnson against Cassell. Again, the Rockets score. And an important part of every team's game, a look at the hustle stats for the Rockets. Defensively, they played with a lot of energy, and the steals we've seen are a result of that aggressiveness. You know, adding on to that, you look at their block totals tonight, and you see how feisty they've been on the defensive end this game. Pass to Ellie from the arc, and another three for Houston. And good passing, setting up a lot of these buckets right now, Kevin. That's been the key. Time dropping delights is what I call it. I, that is a nice pass. I will give you that one. Yeah, he was on the money, that's no doubt. The pass to Johnson. Now here's Rivers. He's covered by Cassell. Shot clock at three. Goes up from the top of the key. And the Hawks getting another basket right there. Here's Cassell. He's got nine. Score the bucket. He's made five so far, shooting a very clean five of seven. And I think they're winning because of him. I mean, he's hitting a lot of his shots right now. Time call here. The Hawks decide to talk it over. Thorpe, he checked in for the Rockets. Atlanta also making some changes here. Wilkins has checked in for Carr, and Webb subbed in for Rivers. Houston on D. The lead is 15. Pass to Webb. Here's Levingston. He's covered by Cassell. Let's it fly. Pulls it up. Levingston can't hit. Levingston's gone one of three from the field here. Here's Cassell. And it's in. Basket number six for him thus far. He has only missed two shots from the floor. Nice job getting inside for the layup. Got the D thinking. Jump shot. Gave a little pump fake. And then off to the races. Johnson surveying the floor. Passes it to Wilkins. Here's Levingston. Johnson kicks to Wilkins. Concac passes to Johnson. Down to five on the shot clock. Let's it go with a three. Elijahwan grabs the miss. Elijahwan's got four rebounds in this game. Here's Brooks. It's tipped. And then Elijahwan with the dunk. 121 left in the third. Pass to Conca. Hawks passing it around. Here's Wilkins. And the bank shot is good. Wilkins has got his second bucket of the night. One of the reasons they're behind is because we haven't seen enough of that. He needs to become a bigger part of the offense. Here's Cassell. He's got 13. 
four on the shot clock. Stolen away. One on one fast break. Johnson the pass to Conca. And here is Webb. He has six. The shot's good. Webb's got eight points. 26 seconds left in the third quarter. And the pass to Cassell. To the middle. He just cannot miss. Eight up, eight in. Flawless. Feeling it. No doubt about it. He's definitely feeling it right now. Shooting a terrific percentage from the field. Webb kicks to Wilkins. Over Thorpe. Can't hit the turnaround jumper. And so it's the Houston Rockets. Out in front by 17 points at the end of the quarter. Their strategy has been clear. And let's go back to a terrific pass that we're calling tonight our State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter for him. Served him up a tasty room service dime right there, boy. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. They've got Elijah on. Ellie is out there with Thorpe. And it's Smith. And it's Maxwell in at the two-guard spot. That's the five for Houston right now. Knocked loose. Five to shoot. Johnson outside. Out left to the wing. Here's Willis. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Yeah, I just love the leadership that Willis brings to this team. He's a guy players look up to, a powerful center who just continues to impress. Or he's checked in for Ellie. And the Hawks making a change here as well. Rivers checked in. And Willis drops them both. And so it's Smith with it. He'll bring it up for the Houston Rockets. Pass to Ori. He kicks to Elijah Wan. Let's it go from 14. And yep, finally drops after rolling around the rim. And the Rockets lead by 17. Rivers again, Smith. To the wing on the left. Back to Rivers. Six to shoot. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. Now how about how he sets his man up there, runs him right into the screen, and then gets the basket. A few possessions into the fourth quarter, just over a minute played. They get a hand on it. Stolen by Rivers. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the contact. The first free throw is good. Yeah, I like that they haven't lost their aggressiveness here in the second, despite being down. That's exactly when you need to be aggressive, Greg. You know that. I mean, another good job, though, of drawing contact and getting to the free throw line. That's his fourth foul. I'm sure he recognizes the situation because number five would put him in a rough, tough spot. About a minute and a half into the fourth quarter now. Rebound by the Hawks. Willis has got five rebounds tonight. Stripped it away. Wilkins against Dory. The three. The Rockets with another miss. The Hawks trail by 12. Here's Wilkins. The second effort. And the rebound goes to the Rockets. Olajuwon's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Ori passes to Smith. Ori kicks to Olajuwon. Houston moving it around. The Rockets again can't hit. Wilkins against Ori. Outside Wilkins over Ori. True on the 14-footer. And scoring the ball comes easily and naturally to him. He's a versatile player at the offensive end. Pass to Thorpe. 
over Wilkins. No good off the back of the rim. The Hawks trail by 10. We're in the final quarter of play here. Three minutes in. Cuts off the pass. Ori kicks to Smith. And too much time in the lane. They get called for the three-second violation. Rivers against Smith. Pass to Whitman. Willis with it. Over Thorpe. That one wide left. You're not pretty. You just got to shake off a miss like that. Maxwell against Whitman. Maxwell, the pass to Smith. Poked away. And the ball travels out of bounds. It was last touched by Rivers. Now a timeout called by Time Houston. Time the short rest, very important. And one of the benefits of this part of the game is getting on the same page with your team while having the chance to hydrate with Gatorade. Replenish your energy for the late game push. And keeping us updated from the sideline, let's swing it over to David Aldridge. Hey, guys. Well, the Rockets coach had some words for his team during the timeout. He told his team to keep looking for those perimeter shots. He said their defense is not respecting us, so let's keep shooting until they come out on us. Guys? The pass to Willis. And it's Willis finishing it off. They needed a run desperately, and boy, did they come up big. And, you know, it wasn't just about getting hot offensively. Defensively, they've been stellar as well. Rivers kicks to Wilkins. Whitman passes to Willis. And it's good for two. Willis has got 12 points in just the second half. All right, well, look at how the hustle game has been going for the Hawks. Their high-energy defensive effort has paid off for them, guys, with more than a few steals over the course of the ball game. And how about the work they're doing also on the offensive glass? Creating those extra opportunities has been critical. Here's Whitman. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Yeah, the defender all over. Greg, he got him good there. I mean, that's why the shot was so far off. The free throw drops for Whitman. Taking two shots. And so he makes both from the line. Houston leading by four. Now here is Smith. Pass to Maxwell. Down to five on the shot clock. Count it. Good. And the Rockets lead by six. And that shot was huge as they try to stem the tide here and hang on to the lead. Yeah, they had been watching it kind of melt away, but that basket could be what gets the momentum back in their favor. And all those second chance points have given them a boost here in the second half, and that's a great way to cut into the lead. Yeah, and that's number five. One more, and he is going to be done for the day. Here's Thorpe. Score the basket for his 10th make. 10 for 12. 83% accuracy. And every move he makes looks like the right one at this point. No doubt about it, Greg. I mean, the game comes so naturally to him easily. I mean, helping to expand their lead as they try to close this one out, he's doing it. Takes a three. Rockets working now with the first shot clock. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Yep, whenever Olajuwon has the ball now, he wants to take the defense to school, and I like his aggressiveness. A nice shot by Rivers. And those are the types of shots down the stretch that win you ball game. To the left side wing. Here's Olajuwon. Kevin Willis grabs the miss. Willis has got nine rebounds now tonight. Ripman against Maxwell. Stolen away. That one is good. He's only missed one shot of his six taken on the floor. Atlanta with the ball. Seven-point differential. Rivers kicks to Wilkins. Wasted no time on that one. Making people around him better. One of the things Doc is best known for. Doc Rivers, that is. 
Olajuwon drawn the double team. Atlanta on D. We've got 108 left to play in the final quarter. Thorpe, that's good. Thorpe's got 22. Yeah, he's a workman like glass eater. Otis Thorpe ripping down rebounds. A real force on that offensive backboard. Time call here. The Hawks decide to talk it over. They're down by seven. 104 left here in the fourth quarter. And now we present our Jordan player of the game. And in terms of his shooting, this has been one of the more accurate performances you'll ever see. I mean, he's been in constant motion, creating a lot of good looks for himself. But, but still, even when you're wide open, you expect to miss some of the time. That has not been the case here tonight. This guy has made everything. What a connection he has to these fans. They love him here. And the more he has games like this, the deeper that connection gets. And it's Elijah Wan missing. And you can see the defenders afraid to kind of get in his way a lot of times when he's on his way to the basket. But on that one, they were there. And I'm not sure it's even possible to throw it too high for Dominique. He has a vertical plus the length. And that's an alley-oop waiting to happen every time he runs the floor. And it's still within reach. But they have to be really close to perfect from here on out. I mean, they have to get their offense right on target, right on point immediately. Now, that is cold blooded. Indeed it is. Love seeing them deliver, and they need him most. No fear taking these shots. I love it. Hawks making a switch here. Bounds checked in. And Smith is an important cog on this team now. He's a really good shooter, a smart player, and a bit of a trash talker, too. Time called here. The Hawks decide to talk it over. They're trailing by two. 23 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Guys, your thoughts? You know what? You can go for the three to win or the two to tie. What's your choice in a situation like this? Well, I don't think you set that decision in stone and anchor it in in this timeout. You see how things play out. You're going to try to get a good, quick shot. And if it's a good three with a good shooter, let it fly. If it's something in the paint, then you take that. But it's about being a good, quick shot in this situation. Boy, he is quick off his feet and, and really stronger than he looks. Wilkins can burn you in that painted area. Timeout called the Rockets. Atlanta making a switch here. Sixteen seconds left in the fourth quarter. Elijah on inside. Covered by Rollins. And the ball's tied up so we'll have a jump ball. And here are the Rockets now. Here's Smith. Can't cash in. You had a foul to give there, but you'd rather not have it cost your team points. I agree. I mean, you would have been better off using it on the floor and not on the shot. But the foul had to come either way, so it is what it is. And he does get the second one. And that gives them the lead. Yeah, that's a big miss right there. Now only a one-point lead. And so it's a narrow victory for Houston, pulling it out for the double. What a show they put out here at home tonight. I mean, these are those games that feel so great to win, and, and really, it's like a knife in the gut to lose. Uh, you you got to love being on edge of your seat and just wondering what's going to happen. How is this thing going to play out? And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and Clark Kellogg, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for being with us. So long and good night, everyone.